Hello, Sam Gordon here from the Las Vegas Review Journal. We just wrapped up day two of the Summer League, NBA Summer League in Las Vegas. I'm at the Thomas and Mack Center. And just about an hour and a half ago, maybe less, the number one overall pick, Markel Fultz, leaves the game with an ankle injury. Uh, coach after the game said day to day, they don't know if they're going to shut him down, but my gut feeling says he's probably done. Uh, there's why risk it with the number one overall pick. You saw him in Salt Lake City. You saw him out here doing what he can do. And there's way too much invested in the future for him to, to, to continue playing. So I, I don't expect that we'll see him tomorrow night. They're scheduled to play the San Antonio Spurs. Meanwhile, uh, number two overall pick, Lonzo Ball, atoned for his horrible game on Friday night with a triple-double here tonight against the Boston Celtics. The Lakers still lost. Because Jason Tatum, as good as ball was, Jason Tatum was just that much better. Posting a double-double somewhere in the neighborhood of 26 points and 11 rebounds. Spectacular effort by Jason Tatum, who's continued to wow, who wowed in Salt Lake, and who's wowing here. Uh, we had some celebrities in the building, uh, maybe not quite Floyd Mayweather like there was on Friday night, but Jay Cole was here watching Dennis Smith Jr. The both of them grew up in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and developed a friendship uh, throughout the years. And Dennis Smith was actually wearing a Dreamville t-shirt afterwards, J. Cole's record label. So for hip-hop fans, that might be kind of an interesting note. Also, Bishop Gorman graduate Zach Collins, he debuted with the Portland Trailblazers. Eh, not exactly what he was hoping for, and he was very candid about that after the game, 3 of 13 from the field, but he did record four blocks and was a menace on the defensive end of the court. So that's what we saw on Saturday. Uh, so, yeah, I'm Sam Gordon, Las Vegas Review-Journal. Thank you.